Here's a quick tutorial on how to use machine learning to predict the outcome of an NBA match. So if you're new to data science or machine learning, let me first give you a high level summary of how this works. All we're doing here is we're taking historical NBA match data and handing it to a model. The model basically identifies patterns based on this historical data. So this could be something like the higher the field goal percentage, the more likely it is that the outcome of the game is a win. And it identifies these types of patterns for all of the fields that we tell it to look into. This is called training the model. Based on these patterns, the model learns how much each input affects the output. So then when you give the model a new set of inputs, it can guess the output, which in this case is whether or not the outcome was a win for the home team. All right, now let's get into the code. I'm gonna go through this quickly, but if you want a slower, more in-depth video, check out the YouTube video we posted on Athletic's YouTube channel. It's called Predicting Match Outcomes with Machine Learning. So first I loaded in my data set and printed out the first five rows to see what I'm working with. Next, I cleaned the data a little bit by dropping any rows with missing values. I then determined which variables are going to be my X and my Y. In other words, I told the model which variables I want it to learn from and which variable I want it to predict. So I want it to learn from the field goal percentage, rebounds, and assists. And I want it to predict whether or not the home team will win the match. Next, I split the data into training and testing groups, trained the model, and made predictions based on the X variables. The model I'm using is a random forest classifier from Scikit-Learn. Next, I printed out a confusion matrix to help determine where the model is getting things right and where it's making mistakes. And that's pretty much it. It's really easy to build a machine learning model with scikit-learn. Now that the model is built, we can plug in new X variables and predict the outcome of a game. So obviously, if you have data about field goal percentages, rebounds, and assists, that would usually mean that the game was already played and you know who won the match. So that wouldn't be the best use of this machine learning model. The use case of something like this would be like if you had two teams average field goal percentage, rebounds, and assists per game throughout the season, and you wanted to use those averages to determine who would win in a match. You would just plug in those average values, and based on those Xs, the model predicts that the home team would win the match. 